What's going on mobile gamers? Today I'm going to show you how to play some Nintendo 3DS on your Android device in under 5 minutes. Let's jump in and up our gaming knowledge. Alright gamers, so the very first thing you're going to do is navigate to the link in the description below. And this is going to be a website called GitHub. You're going to navigate all the way down to where it says Citra MMJ and Tutu. And you're going to click that file and let it download. It's only 15, well, 16 megabytes. Let it download, then click open, click install, click open, click allow. Now, this is where we're going to add a games folder to our library. That being said, we need to get some games. So the very first thing we're going to do to get games is we're going to go to Google Chrome again. And we're going to type in 3DS ROMs Internet Archive. Now you're going to click go. You're going to click on Nintendo 3DS Collection. You're going to scroll all the way down to where it says 7Z. You're going to click that 7Z. Now what you can do to make it easier for you to search out the game that you want to play, you're going to click on the three dots on the top right hand side. You're going to go all the way down to where it says find in page. And we're going to type in Super Mario Bros. Just like so. Now I already have this on my device, but I'm going to show you how to actually extract it so that you can extract it to your games folder. Now we're gonna go to my files, which is the file folder of choice. I'm gonna go to my internal storage. I'm going to create a folder called 3DS games. Now this is all up to your preference, but I like to keep things organized. Now I'm gonna go back, go back. I'm gonna go to the play store. I'm gonna type in RAR Labs. Now this is gonna be the file manager to actually extract our files. So we're gonna click install. Now we're gonna click open. Now we're gonna allow RAR Labs to actually let us navigate through our folders by clicking this little checkbox. Now we're going to click back, click allow again, click dismiss. Now you're going to go to your downloads folder where your game is. Mine is going to be Paper Mario for the sake of this video because it was already compressed to a 7Z file just like the one that I showed you before for New Super Mario Bros. You're going to click this checkbox. You're going to click the up arrow on the top right hand side. You're going to click browse. Now you're going to go look for the folder called 3DS games like I did. Click OK. Click OK again and let it extract to that folder. Now I'm going to click the home button. I'm going to go back to Citra. Now I'm going to add that folder. I'm going to click that folder that says 3DS games. Click OK and there's that Paper Mario game. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click this little icon on the top right hand side beside the plus icon and you're going to scroll down to internal resolution. For my sake I'm going to set it to 2. Now I'm going to click on accurate multiplication and I'm going to click it to fast. I'm going to enable CPU usage limit. I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says enable audio stretching. Now I'm going to click the three dots. I'm going to go to input binding. Now that I'm using controller, I'm going to want to have a button for swapping the screen. So I'm going to click swap screen and I'm going to press in on my left button. And I want a button to actually navigate to my settings. So I'm going to click on the settings button and I'm going to click on my right joystick. And that'll be my hop keys for my settings and my swap screen. Now, I'm going to open up Paper Mario. Now, at the beginning of the game, there's going to be a lot of things rendering in the background. So, we're going to have to set this up. So, swipe from the right, click your back button, click settings. Go down to hide input buttons if you're not using your on-screen buttons. Scroll all the way down to where it says force texture filter. Click it to linear. Geometry shader, we're going to turn that off. Enable shader rendering, we're going to turn that off as well. Asynchronization shader compilation, we're going to turn that on. Now, for layout. Large allows you to have a little tiny secondary screen on the right hand side. Single allows you to just have a big screen. So I'm going to show you these two different screens right now. So if I click on my joystick, it'll allow me to swap back and forth just like I did with the input binding. So now I'm going to navigate to my secondary screen. File has been created. Click A, click A again, and load your game. The game renders quite well on any Snapdragon devices running Snapdragon 700 series all the way up to present day. Hope you enjoy. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below, like, share, and become a member if you want to help support the channel. We like to find these things and share them with everybody that loves the game.